Okay, welcome to Special Teams 101 with your boy Isaac Punts. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about the punt play because a lot of you guys have strong opinions but have no idea what you're talking about. So today, I'm giving you an ideas. First, let's start with some important rules to know. Every person on that line can release as soon as the ball is snapped, which is why you'll see it most common with long snappers and gunners, but other people can release too if they feel necessary. The next most important one that has to do with just punting schematics is that if the punter rolls out of the pocket to do an Aussie style punt, he can get hit completely legally and it is no flag. So if you see a guy roll out and he gets slacked even after he punts the ball, that's completely fair. So sometimes teams will try to do that, but that is legal. The first position that we're going to talk about is the gunner position. The gunners are these guys all the way out here on the outside. They have one goal. It's to get off their block and to fly downfield and make a play. A good gunner releases to the side that the ball is going to be on. You should know which way the ball is going to be on because you will discuss it before you walk out on the field. So in this case, Ryan Stonehouse is putting to the left. Both gunners should try to go for a left side release least aka they should be going away from the guy in front of them it is not smart to take that guy on head on you're not trying to block him this does not make sense which is why the gunner on the left gets a little bit caught up the next position is the long snapper the long snapper has pretty much two jobs first job Throw the ball between his legs and make sure that it gets to the punter no matter what. This is the most important. The second job, you are suddenly a new gunner. Typically, the long snapper is a little bit slower than your gunners. Your gunners are probably some of the most athletic people on the team. But his goal is to run down there, make a play, or mostly force the returner to one side. He usually wants to cut him off, so he's always going to be playing that hip that's to the field side to push the returner towards the sideline or upfield to help. So next we're going to talk about blocking and this right here is a very basic blocking scheme. Your kick side guys are going to block everybody to their outside. The back side guys are going to block everybody to their inside and then your shield is going to have an inside to out mentality which means they're blocking anybody that comes up the middle and then looking out towards the outside to make sure nobody scrapes through. Just in this little bit you can see some ways that that did not happen. The first thing I notice is the right side guard picks up the wrong guy leading to some confusion and he could have been getting downfield and he does all of that just to get blown up anyway. The next thing that I notice is this left side guard gets absolutely obliterated and the shield doesn't pick him up. So if that would have gotten blocked by 91, that is 100% on the shield. You're supposed to read that to the inside and, and yes, you're not supposed to lose your one-on-ones like that, but hey, that happens and as the shield, you gotta be there to pick it up You're the last line of defense. So there you go. That is my little one-on-one. Now you know what everybody's jobs are supposed Oh wait, actually I've got one more thing. And that is coverage. Yes, once you get off your block, you're supposed to run down. Preferably, special teams coaches often teach to keep five yard gaps between you and the next closest guy and you never want to stack up for the easy block. So on this ball, if it was not so perfectly placed, all this returner had to do is just cut back across the field because right here you can see that everybody is lined up right behind each other, which would give the returner free access to the touchdown if he wanted it, if he was just able to cut back across the field. So that's all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.